New at 10, protesters taking to the streets once again to push back against plans by UC Berkeley to turn a historic city park into student housing. Demonstrators fighting to save People's Park hope to block development on the site. KTV Zach Sauce live outside the park right now. And Zach, it appears once again the protests remained peaceful. Yeah, that's correct, Greg, and largely they have been peaceful aside from a demonstration back in January when several people were arrested. That's not to say there weren't any disruptions today. Some of the protesters did manage to temporarily block traffic here around People's Park, chanting whose park? People's Park along the way. A March Friday in the ongoing effort to save People's Park in Berkeley. Whose park? People's Park! Kicking off at nearby Willard Park, demonstrators making their way through the streets, holding signs reading, Free Southside Parks. We need more parks. More parks. More parks. I just came from camping for four days and get out off the concrete and you feel so much better. Other signs stating, where is my tuition going? At the beginning of the year, UC Berkeley, which owns the land, spending millions to clear out the park and displacing several long-time unhoused residents in the process. People's Park is my home. It's been my home, my family for almost a decade. The university is planning to build housing for 1,100 students and 125 homeless residents there, but construction now on hold. In a case scheduled for April, neighborhood groups expected to challenge the project in the California Supreme Court. The university, meantime, calling its plans necessary to address a campus housing shortage. I don't think we need to build an apartment there. For many, the park, a symbol of the radical political activism of the late 1960s, a site of important protests they say should be preserved entirely. It seems weird that they would do it on a historic site that means so much to people and that also has a lot of community programs operating out of it. Large containers continuing to surround the park along with private security to keep protesters out. This park is our monument. We are under occupation by a hostile force. Yes, once upon a time, the university was an educational institution. A small but determined group showing no signs of readying to back down from their fight. It's not up the land only. It's the history. You are taking part of Berkeley history. Now, the university, for its part, has said they are committed to setting aside some of the land at the park to honor, sir, honor rather, the park's legacy. But protesters still standing firm. They want no development at all. Greg? Zach Sauce, live in Berkeley tonight. Zach, thank you.